for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spider-Man by NextGenTactics.com. This is Crack the Sky Part 2 of our Battlefield Bad Company 2 campaign walkthrough on hard difficulty. Yeah! Okay, it's out of Geosync orbit and coming in hard. I don't think we're gonna get there in time. Ray Flynn? Mm-hmm. Ghost Rider, this is Redford. We got the satellite on a crash pad. Can you exfil? Uh, Bravo 2, this is Ghost Rider. That's a negative. I got some unholy wind shear off these mountaintops. I just can't chance it. Sorry, brother. Pull I can't, I'll get you. Ghost Rider out. Oh, come on. With that hippie pilot had some cojones, we'd be drinking margaritas at the crash site right now. Right, I got coordinates for a projected point of impact. Let's move. All right, well, that pretty much sucks. No chopper ride to the crash site, unfortunately. So we got to find another ride. Hey, way to take that gate down, man. Sweet. This is like Superman. Okay, there it is. It'll land about a click away, I guess. You sure about that? Hackett, I just brought this bitch down on a dime from orbit. So a little respect. Very little. Sarge, look, we need a ride. I hear you. There's one right over there. Damn, we gotta get that one, that ride? I mean, I thought he said it was Bound only gonna be a click away. In the village. Apparently not. So we gotta go down to this village and basically kill everything that moves and steal their ride. So you got uh, one guy up on the top uh, roof here on the left, so take okay. him out first and then there's another guy on that roof. Guys down below, you can use the red barrels on the right hand side here uh, to take that last guy out, or the last two guys out. But, uh, you know, again, your uh, squad mates are actually pretty decent in this game. Another guy on the roof, and a guy will come up the stairs here. Try and use the rooftops wherever possible. Some more barrels down there. A guy just comes out here on the left side. Just take him out. And I'm not sure if we actually go on the roof here or not. Let's see. We got at the bottom of the stairs. Again, noob tubes pretty handy here as well. So yeah, we're gonna move over to these stairs. This guy with an RPG here. Take him out. <laughs> Apparently I'm doing a half decent job, according to my squad mates. Another RPG guy on the roof there. And you can actually jump down and uh Oh, look at this. Get on that oh no, that's one of our guys. Uh, you can climb on this other roof over here as well. <laughs> Somebody's upset. So a few guys, there's a uh, mounted gun over there. But you can, uh, I actually try to jump over onto this other roof here, but I fail. Okay, pretty uh, simple stuff. Nothing to be too concerned about. Uh, we missed the roof. So uh, you can hear the uh, few enemy dudes yelling and talking and screaming. A couple guys around this corner here. Take them out with ease. And then we're going to move over here. And you got a armored vehicle coming here. So you want to switch your noob to... And take it out with uh, about three noobs. Noob tubes, possibly. Yeah, three. And uh, take the rest of these guys out. You may as well, because uh, you're not going to need your noob tubes afterwards, so you can use them all if you really want to. couple guys on the roofs over here. And uh, once you've got them all cleared out, you're going to move down and uh, commandeer that vehicle that uh, Sarge was talking about earlier. And this next, uh, this next uh, sequence is pretty cool. So we got about four minutes to go before the satellite comes down, so we got to haul ass and get that damn thing before the enemy gets it, because I'm sure they're going to see it coming down. Okay, so R2, just hold down R2 the whole way. Uh, it's actually kind of difficult to fire and steer and pull down R2 all at the same time, but you get used to it. And, uh, one of your squad mates is on the mounted gun, and you're firing the noob tubes. You can just fire them continuously if you want. On hard difficulty, if you're not firing at the trucks and killing them, uh, they're actually fairly quick 
to uh, destroy your Jeep or your vehicle. So, I think the first time I ran through and I was having, uh, again, stupid audio problems with the recordings, I was actually down to like 7% uh, health on the, uh, the vehicle and I made it like the second half of it. I had to go like almost halfway to the uh, to the target at seven percent, and I actually made it. But just keep holding down R two and uh, some more ATVs or whatever I think, or Jeeps, not ATVs. Sorry, I think there are some that come up. It's actually quite a long sequence here. And you go through this town. You don't have to let up on the uh, throttle. Just keep going. Nice. Oh, shit! Uh, I don't think I actually ever took that chopper down. I don't think it actually fires at you a whole lot. But not much you can do about it. And uh, we're getting close to... What I think is probably the best line in the game up to this point. So I think we're almost there. Just a few more seconds, I believe. There's some ATVs. Alright, here it comes. It's pretty sweet. It's actually pretty funny. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, nice. Can you say boom? Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. That is the greatest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> yes. Let's just go get the damn satellite. That was like the best line ever. I don't know. Just the way he said it. I thought that was pretty awesome. Anyways, that is Crack the Sky. Apparently the next mission, we got to go and actually get the satellite and retrieve it. But, uh, you know... That's coming up, so stay tuned. For more, visit www.nextgentactics.com. I'm Spiderbite, and I'm going to go play some more Battlefield Bad Company 2. Yeah!